Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. So lately, the market has been having more mood swings than a petulant teenager. In this environment of extreme market movements, stability and consistency can seem like luxuries that are hard to come by. This isn't necessarily true if your portfolio is dividend oriented. Dividends are voluntary distributions companies make to their shareholders. The ability to pay these dividends is based on the company's actual business and how much cash it is generating which is ultimately an objective measure that isn't affected by how investors feel about the business. This is very different from stock prices, which can often become detached from a company's fundamentals and are driven by investor sentiment, at least in the short run, that is. As a result, while stock market prices can fluctuate wildly from day to day, Dividends tend to be much more stable, comparatively speaking. Take, for example, chip manufacturer Micron Technology, ticker symbol MU. If you're following my growth portfolio, you know I have Micron Technology stock in my portfolio. In the last year, Micron is down 16%. Year to date, this company is down 25%. And despite this unfavorable movement in this company's stock price, in April, it paid a dividend of 10 cents per share, which is the same dividend that it paid in January, which is the same dividend that it paid in October. The long-term fundamentals of this stock are improving, at least as per my assessment, yet the price is still falling. So for someone who is looking to their stock portfolio as a source of income, having to sell their shares at this time would be very unfortunate. However, since the company is dividend paying, investors are able to get some income from their micron position without having to sell their shares at an extremely inopportune time. Now, in the example of micron technology, the stock is paying a really small dividend yield, 10 cents per share. The share price is around $70. We're talking about less than 1% dividend yield. That's why this particular stock is in my growth portfolio and not in my dividend portfolio. In order for dividends to even hit my radar in terms of significance, I shoot for something between 2 and 5% in terms of dividend yield, which is the long run average of dividend yields for S&P 500 companies. That said, this average has been much lower in recent years, but is increasing again now that stock prices are falling. Recently, I've decided to add a PIF dividend portfolio to the list of portfolios PIF members can follow so that members who are interested in dividend investing can get some useful insights into halal dividend stocks. By the way, if you haven't heard already, the first 300 PIF members members will have their membership rates locked in forever. So it will never become more expensive for them to maintain their membership. The rest of the members will likely experience annual increases in their membership costs. As of the date of making this video, there is still an opportunity to become one of these 300 members. The link to become a member is in the description of this video. And as it relates to the PIF dividend portfolio, the goal is to create a portfolio of halal stocks with an average dividend yield of between 2 and 5%. You may view this as a rather unimpressive return, but keep in mind that this dividend yield is in addition to the hoped for appreciation in the stock prices themselves. So we want companies that are not only going to pay us a dividend yield, but are also going to become more valuable with time. And since 1926, dividends have contributed approximately 32% of the total return for S&P 500 companies, while capital appreciation has contributed their remaining 68%. Also, about the dividend yield and it being unimpressive. Remember the 4% rule? I've spoken about it many times on this channel, but for those who are unfamiliar, the 4% rule is a frequently used rule of thumb to determine how much a person should spend in retirement and also how much they need to retire. Basically, this rule says the following. If you add up all your investments and withdraw 4% of this total during your first year of retirement and in subsequent years, you adjust the dollar amount you withdraw to account for inflation, you should have a very high probability of not outliving your savings for at least 30 years, according to this rule. Now, this rule was created using historical data 
on stock and bond returns over the 50-year period between 1926 and 1976 and assumes an investment portfolio returning 6 to 8% annually. Now, if you're able to construct a dividend portfolio that is paying, let's say 2%, instead of selling roughly 4% of your holdings in the first year of retirement, you'll only need to sell 2% of your investments because the other 2% will come from dividends. If your portfolio is producing 4% when you retire and your expenses are 4% of your savings, then you won't need to sell anything. So dividends can be a very powerful source of passive income, but it's going to take a while to get to balances that produce meaningful cash flows for you if you're just getting started. Also, keep in mind that depending on where you live, dividends can be considered income and are therefore taxed, so you may want to construct your dividend portfolio in a tax-advantaged account. So to construct the PIF Halal Dividend Stock Portfolio, I'm looking for 10 stocks that I'm comfortable investing in from a halal perspective, offer a decent yield between 2 and 5%, and have healthy prospects of appreciating in price. And inshallah, we will review our list and maybe update it at least monthly. Now, I found that it really isn't easy finding dividend paying stocks that meet these criteria that I've set, especially as it relates to my comfort level, because I like to see no material reliance on the use of interest and the company's operations. And I'm finding out that a lot of these dividend paying companies are leveraged up to their eyeballs. One of the stocks that I was able to find that meets my criteria is Novartis AG, ticker symbol NVS. Novartis AG is a healthcare products behemoth with a market cap close to $200 billion that researches, develops, manufactures, and markets healthcare products worldwide. I have to admit, I do have somewhat of a soft spot for healthcare product developers. I like to invest in them, especially ones that are on the cutting edge of innovations like Novartis often is. The company has a very robust drug development pipeline with over 100 promising drugs in development. If just one of these drugs ends up solving a very serious ailment for some people, I'm going to be very happy having been an investor in this company. As far as its reliance on RIBA or interest bearing debt in its operations, when you compare the interest expense to the total operating expense for this company for the last 12 months, it's less than 5%, which is my cutoff point when determining whether this reliance is material or not. And this ratio for Novartis is actually very rare for dividend paying companies paying dividend yields as high as Novartis's. And what is this dividend yield for Novartis, you ask? Well, currently Novartis is trading at a stock price of roughly $85, which means that its dividend yield is close to 4%, which is roughly twice as high as the average rate paid out by S&P 500 companies. Not only that, since its founding in 1996, it has consistently paid growing dividends every year. Its price to sales ratio is currently around 3.5. The industry average is close to 4.5. So it has a reasonable valuation and it is my first pick for our new PIF Halal Dividend Portfolio. As mentioned, we are adding this portfolio to the perks of regular PIF membership. We'll be building it with time. I want to get a list of at least 10 best Halal Dividend Paying stocks that are reviewed and updated when appropriate, at least monthly for members. And if that's something that interests you, then become a member. You'll also be able to follow the growth and crypto portfolios that I manage, as well as other portfolios we hope to add in the future. If you are one of the first 300 to sign up, you will have your rate locked in forever, as I mentioned. Everyone else can expect an annual increase in the price of membership, so hurry up and become a member if you're interested. Link in the description. Drop a like if you like the video. Subscribe for more content like it. Until next time, make sure to take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you all.